Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. So I've been meaning to get into this series for a while, and I just never got into it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I haven't played New Vegas in quite a long time. So we are going to see how it's going to do. No, we're going to do a new game. Last time I played this was like last year, I think. Oof, there's a bad screen tearing. So keep in mind, I've never beaten this game. Good old Frank Sinatra. So this is, Di not Diamond City, this is a really nice city. And here's this guy. And... Right. In a raider's head. Boom. And we have this little scenario happening. And it actually pertains to our character. I kind of think that this was a pretty cool intro to the game. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages. Forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business. Yeah, the New the Vegas Strip, that's what it's called. The mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn. I kind of like this animation in the beginning of the series. I kind of wish we could have got to see more of this. Yeah, so basically, we were shot in the head, 
and we were supposedly killed, but we get we get uh, resurrected, of course. And I also do have a not I think I do have the DLC installed with this, so we're gonna have some pretty nice weapons to start out with. So we're gonna wake up. So our name's gonna be Courier. We're just gonna keep it like that. You can't say it's what I'd mm. pick for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left in at the not place. This is where we can create our character. So of course we're gonna be male, Caucasian, age, the chin is what I want to actually fix. Oh boy, hang on, wait. There we go. Nope, not short. Make it short. I just want to make sure that it doesn't look like I've got a really fat chin or like really f like fat neck hairstyle. We're gonna do a buzz saw. Oh, my game's crashing. Hang on, guys. Yeah, it's crashing. Okay, there it goes. Jesus. Yeah, it froze for a second there. I could do clean cut, but I'm just going to do buzzsaw. could also do Sarge, but nah. I'm going to do buzzsaw. Alright, that's what our character will look like. Oof, yeah, my game's my game's been lagging a lot, so there's a couple of items we can actually take from this area, um, and we won't get in trouble for it. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and go to the bigger test room scene. Actually, wait, no, wait. There we go. So I just do a little bit of that. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vibe is good, but that don't So I'm gonna just take some of these things. We're gonna take all these items because they're nice to have. So we're gonna sit down. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first. 
first thing that comes to mind? Dog. Cat. House. Shelter. Night. Campfire. Enemy. Crush. Light. Dark. Mother. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict is being in my nature. Strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Strongly agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Disagree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No opinion. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh, chemical reaction. Oh, that was glitched again. Um, I ship at sea. It's not even making sound now. Last one. Yeah, it's, oof, it's, something's wrong. My 360 might be going out, guys. Um, I see a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the So this is where I get all my stats. See if it all seems right to you. Or my skill set. Uh, melee weapon, science, survival. Let's see, what's survival? We're going to take that off. Repair is one thing that I'm going to want. And, uh, take off melee weapons, guns, and lockpick. That's going to be mine for right now. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. i got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Um just a formality. Oh. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. So this is where I, these are some of the traits that you could choose, but they're positives and negatives. Um so we're not gonna do any of this. Well we're just gonna do done. You don't have to choose any of those. Oh, my game is lagging really badly. Yeah, it's not responding quickly, so there might be a problem with the my disc or something like that. I don't know. But I'm going to open up. Oh, it's lagging bad. Oof. My 360 might be going out, guys. Oof. Yeah, that lagged way too bad. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take the knife. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. It is so bad, guys. You have no idea. I've never had to deal with lag on console, so I'm guessing my disk drive is probably going out on my... It might be going out on my um, Xbox. Either that or it's the game. It's lagging. Alright, uh, there's all that. Alright, let's go. Actually, wait. I did get the repair skill, so I might be able to pick this up. Um, so I repaired that gun, because I can pick it up. So basically, it's a free gun that you can get to the beginning. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I didn't even know where to look. I thought it might help me find an extra kit, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up.
up in one of them vaults in me before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Ooh, lag. Uh. Ooh. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Yep. So then we get this thing for hardcore mode. Uh, I'm going to say no to this. So basically, if you break a... It's more, um... It's more of a... a more realistic gameplay, but I'm not going to do it. Alright, we're going to leave and head out to Good Springs. And I'm going to get a bunch of gear. Because, like I said, I have DLC from this game when I bought it. This was a long time ago when I bought this game. And apparently it came with some DLC items and some other quests that we can do. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, so now we're outside. Let's see how bad it's going to lag. Oh, there it goes. Back in the saddle. And we're going to get a bunch of items and a bunch of new quests. I think, if I'm remembering this correctly. I'm going to that away. Oh, maybe I don't have the items? Hang on a minute. Oh. I don't have any of the stuff. What? Okay, well I had DLC on this. So I wonder if it doesn't... I don't know what happened. I was supposed to get a bunch of items. Okay, well I guess that's not a thing anymore. Because I had DLC items on this, and I was supposed to get a bunch of them. And another, a bunch of uh, qu quests, but I guess not. And actually, guys, this is where we're going to go ahead and end the video, since I've been it's dragged on long enough. So, that is actually going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.